do you know that a narrow body aircraft will consume about 2508 liters of fuel per hour and airbus a320 neo has a fuel capacity of 32 to 33000 of liters if an airbus a320 neo burns 0.6 liters of fuel per second which is a narrow body aircraft a boeing 747 jumbo jet or a wide body aircraft uses approximately 4 liters of fuel per second which translate to 240 liters per minute and 14400 liters per hour one more important fact that 50% of the airline operating cost is utilized to burn ATF only. Why are we discussing ATF today? Does it really matter to a common passenger? As the price of the petrol and diesel hike, the common man sweats. This equation is same with the ATF and the airlines. In order to bear the burden of the hike prices, the airline proportionally hike the prices of the ticket. This is how it affects the common man because about half or the 50% of the airline operating cost is utilized to only burn ATM. So who pays the ATM? It's us, the common man. So I am Shantanu, you are watching Aviation IV and today we'll learn all about aviation turbine fuel. So let's get started. Discover what exactly ATF is. In the image, you can see different forms of the fuel when extracted from a petroleum oil. Turbine engine uses jet fuel to power the aircraft. It is colorless or straw colored in appearance. This is the jet fuel which is generally used and it is almost colorless. Jet A and Jet A1 are the most commonly used fuel for commercial aviation with a standardized international specification. The other jet fuel commonly used in civil aviation turbine engine is Jet B, specially designed for cold weather performance. Composition In this image you can see an engine sucking in air which is generally made up of N2 plus O2. Fuel which is a mixture of hydrocarbons, this is carbon, it's a hydrogen component and the exhaust and the combustion is of this type. Jet fuel is defined on the performance specification rather than chemical compound because the exact composition varies widely based upon petroleum source and kind of engines to be fueled. Thus we cannot define the jet fuel in terms of hydrocarbons. The molecular mass between hydrocarbons is defined by the requirements of, for the product. Jet A, Jet A1, JP5 and JP8 which have different freezing and ignition temperatures. So composition is changed accordingly. ATF is higher quality fuel with respect to petrol and diesel and often contains additives to reduce the risk of icing or explosion due to low and high temperature extremity respectively. Weight of the aircraft is an important criteria, so correct selection of fuel is important as specific energy or calorific value of the fuel plays a very important role in selecting an appropriate fuel to power the aircraft. This table, typical emissions at different engine operating regimes so these are the species idle time takeoff time and cruise time this is gram per kg so i am taking the first one that co2 emission is about 3160 gram per kg when the aircraft is at idle or the engine is at idle at takeoff time this composition is or the output is same and same for the cruise also and this same follows the table. Types of ATM used in civil aircrafts Jet A and Jet A1 In 1950s, United States used Jet A specification fuel which is not available outside United States 
and a few Canadian airports such as Toronto and Vancouver only have it. Whereas Jet A1 is the standard specification fuel used all over the world other than the former Soviet states where TS1 is the most commonly used and a common standard fuel. Now we'll discuss some parameters. This is the Jet A1 and this is Jet A. Flash point is about 38 degrees for both. Auto ignition temperature 210 degrees centigrade for both. Now freezing point. Jet A1 has a freezing point of minus 47 degrees centigrade but Jet A has minus 40 degrees centigrade. Maximum adiabatic burn temperature which is 2230 degrees centigrade for both and in open air burn temperature which is 1030 degrees centigrade. Now these are some other parameters such as density, specific energy and energy density which are different for Jet A1 and Jet A. You can follow the table for your knowledge. Types of ATF used in civil aircrafts. Jet B is a fuel with lighter composition that is naphtha kerosene fuel used to enhance cold weather performance as it is of lighter composition which makes it more dangerous to handle. For this reason it is rarely used except in very cold climates. The fuel is blend of approximately 30% kerosene and 70% gasoline. It is also known as white cut fuel. It has a very low freezing point of minus 60 degrees centigrade and a very low flash point as well. It is primarily used in some military aircraft. It is also used in northern Canada, Alaska and sometimes Russia because of its low freezing point. TS1 is a jet fuel which is of higher volatility than Jet A1. Made to Russian standard GOST10227 for enhanced cold weather performance. It has a very low freezing point below minus 50 degrees centigrade. Fuel dispensing. Aviation turbine fuel or ATF can be refueled in two ways. First is the hydrant pit through refuelers and second one is the bowser. This image shows a bowser is used to refuel the ATF into the aircraft wings from the downward side. And this image shows that a refueler or a hydrant is placed just below the wings of the aircraft and sucking the ATF from the ground. This is called a hydrant pit. And this refueler is equipped with filtration and pump mechanism to suck the ATF from the hydrant pit and transfer it to the wings or the tanks of the aircraft. Whereas the Bowser itself carries the ATF from the station to the apron and then fills it to the aircraft. ATF is pumped into the aircraft by two methods, over the wings or under the wings. Under the wings I have shown you in the previous slides. Over the wing fueling is used on smaller planes helicopters and piston engine aircraft and it is similar to the automobile fueling. One or more fuel ports are opened and the fuel is pumped in the conventional pump. Underwing fueling also called a single point is used on larger aircrafts. Water contamination. One very important aspect to check the ATF. During cruising, the temperature of the fuel in the fuel tank decreases to a very low temperature as the pressure in the upper atmosphere. So it becomes an area of heightened importance that jet fuel be free from water contamination. The water particles in the fuel causes precipitation and deteriorate the combustion process. It also acts as corrosive agent for the aircraft wings as it acts as fuel storage. The separated water then drops to the bottom of the tank because it is denser than the fuel. Since the water is no longer in solution, it can form droplets which can be supercooled to below 0 degree centigrade. If these supercooled droplets collide with the surface, they can freeze, they can be freezed and may result in 
blocked fuel inlet pipes and may be a cause of flight accident as in the case of British Airways flight. Removing all water from fuel is impractical. Therefore, fuel heaters are usually used to commercial aircraft on commercial aircraft to prevent water in fuel from freezing. ATF Sampling Procedures Before refueling the ATF into the aircraft from the Bowser, a test is conducted to check the quality, contamination and moisture by any means. The sample as shown is mixed with potassium permanganate and if any water content is there, the sample turns pink. Similarly, it is checked for other contamination also. If the sample is not found fit for the use, the whole Bowser is ejected. So hope I could help you out with this very unexplored topic, Aviation Turbine Fluel. Do visit our website www.avationavi.com and if you have any queries, you can directly connect to our LinkedIn page of Anvesha Pal and Shantanu God. Do like, share and subscribe our work because your support is our motivation. Aviation Avi, go where you feel the most alive.